redistricting. And lawmakers are taking on some other ideas being presented, including a couple of maps that would actually split up Pulaski County. Yeah, our Jay Burr was in those meetings today. He joins us live. So, Jay, how much of Pulaski County are they considering splitting up, and what kind of impact is it going to have on people who live there? Well, I guess it depends on what rendition uh, of maps that you look at, because today Senators Alan Clark and Bart Hester both presented their maps that actually split Pulaski County into three separate congressional districts. Now, really the magic number that everybody's trying to get to for a district is 752,881, or at least as close to it as possible. And most understand if you're within about 1%, hey, that's A-OK. -okay. Now, Hester took a four corners approach to his rendering and said when getting to the middle there was just going to have to be a split for the numbers to work. He did say there are currently five counties split up in the current district setup. His map only had Pulaski split up. Now Senator Clark tried to stay more in tune with the current districts but did some slight maneuvering of other counties, even presented options with Pope and Saline counties in districts two and four in separate maps. Representative Reginald Murdoch presented a map today keeping every county whole but Pulaski County sharing a district with much of the Delta. Inclusion is a part of that, that equation, and uh, the United States Supreme Court has stated how we need to do this in a manner that's fair, equitable, and inclusive. A lot of people are afraid to split Pulaski County, and I don't know why. It seems to make all the sense in the world. I have not looked one time at how the voting breakdown you know, works by parties. I think, look, when the average person looks at this map, they're going to say it looks very fair and reasonable. Now, Hester's map also split the city of Little Rock in half, but he did say he was amenable to moving the district border northwards towards the river. Now, uh, what both men did say about splitting Pulaski County was those areas that they did split actually fit sort of the profile of the district. So, eastern part of the county, a lot of row cropping out that way, sort of fits in District 1, southern Pulaski County, a little more rural, kind of fits the vibe of District 4, and then the rest of it going to District 2. Now, note, there have been no votes taken on anything. They will come back into session next week to handle all that. But for now, live from the state capitol, Jay Burt, Fox 16 News. All right, Jay, thank you. Hard work continues to make a dent.